Let's look at cereals. Healthy Habits has a very amazing team behind it. It's not easy to get into a school and have a teacher give up an hour of instructional time for nutrition or physical activity, and yet our teachers welcome us with open arms. They're the ones calling us at the beginning of the school year saying, when are you coming? When are you coming to my class? We talk about nutrition, so it could be anything from my plate to food labels to how to set the table. And then there's also a segment where we include some type of physical activity and a tasty snack at the end. Cedar sinai is a nonprofit hospital, and one of the four parts of our mission is to improve the health status of our community. So this is completely interwoven into the fabric of who we are as a health system. And it really goes back all the way to our roots in 1902, where we started as a 12-bed hospital, serving the community, serving those in need, and really focusing on, uh, on vulnerable communities. About 10 years ago, Cedar sinai was looking at school partnerships that we had with other programs and knew obesity is on the rise and was on the rise and type 2 diabetes was growing particularly for younger people and schools were asking Cedar sinai for support and for help. We serve 18 schools, elementary and middle schools. Um, a criteria is that they have to be underserved, so at least 75% of the students have to be eligible for free or reduced lunch. In the schools, we target students. We target them at second, third, and fourth grade. We also work with the parents in providing workshops. We also provide training to the teachers. The beauty of Healthy Habits is that the programs really are built to have a clustering effect. So if a parent has a student in elementary school here, they might have a student in preschool down the street, and they might go locally to a church or use the local recreation center. And Healthy Habits really has programs and partnerships that build on each other in these other sites. And those parents in that neighborhood begin to share the key messages, which are simplified around healthy eating and physical activity, begin to build on itself. And the whole community is really talking about healthy eating and physical activity. I have two children who participated in the program here. So they actually go home and talk to me and my husband, but also my mother-in-law who lives with us, their grandmother. They have in the past shown her how to read a food label. Also review um, healthy snacks for recess time. So the boys and girls are more anxious to show me, you know, in their lunch bag, oh, I have strawberries, I packed grapes today. Um, and I don't see a lot of kids bringing uh, chips and cookies. They feel like eating healthy is cooler. So they talk about the snacks that they've been making at home with their families. They show me if they brought apples or whole grains to class during recess, they're very proud to show it to me. And they talk about trying the recipes at home, so that's been very nice to see. We do uh, small yoga breaks. We like to do um, things that they can actually do at home. So we have these fitness cards that are just cut out little squares with different things that they can do, like jump, jumping jacks, jumping rope, and are things that, they're simple things that are meant to encourage them to also do at home with their families. So their families are encouraged to be physically active with them. Healthy Habits is unique by having full-time health educators that are paid for by Cedar sinai to go out into the community. We're teaching the material in a fun way. It's not like another school subject where they have to do a lot of writing or they have to remember things for a test. So they're having fun, but they're still learning important information for to better their health and also help out their families. Alto Loma Elementary School serves over 600 students within the Los Angeles Unified School District. We are a school-wide Title I school, which means that the majority of our students meet the poverty level. Healthy Habits program is successful here at Alto Loma because it's hitting at all different levels. It's working with the students, it's working with the parents, and it's also working with the teachers. By hitting that, that trifecta, really ensuring success and I think the Healthy Habits program does that. El impacto de hábitos saludables en mi escuela ha sido muy grande porque nosotros los padres hemos compartido las cosas que nos han enseñado Cedar Sinai y Healthy Habits. Los cambios que he visto con los padres en hábitos saludables con las familias es que los padres tienen más interés acerca de la salud preguntan más acerca de la diabetes, cuántos tipos de diabetes existen y también preguntan acerca de la alta presión y el alto colesterol 
y Cedar Sinai Healthy Habits nos ha enseñado mucho acerca de esto. Can you guys show me your muscles? Flex your muscles. It's not just that we're exposing someone one time or two times. This is a curriculum. This is a now a proven curriculum that not only changes knowledge and attitudes, but actually results in a behavioral shift. Healthy Habits is one of those programs that we built from scratch with a focused geographic area in mind. And we will be continuing to deepen those programs and of course to broaden the way that we impact the community. And there are lots of things that we have that will truly make this program not only impactful for students, but for the community at large. The future for Healthy Habits is incredibly bright. 